Hi everyone, Kartina Yeti again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to capture an email address. Now we've talked about this in two previous tutorials. The first tutorial, which started this, <laughs> um, actually shows you how to auto-trigger a download. So you land on a dynamic page, the save window automatically pops up, and then they save it. In the second tutorial, I showed you how to add custom social media share buttons or icons that allow the person to click on the icon and shares that specific link to their friends so that way they can go back and land on that website and also had a download button where they click on it and it immediately triggers the save window so they can save that image. We're taking it one step further and now I'm going to show you how to capture the email address first, then click the download button, but instead of auto-downloading right there on the page, I decided to get a little extra creative and send an email to them, a triggered email, so that way they can get the URL that way. Let me show you what that looks like. So from the tutorial side, you'll see the same gallery that we've been working with. This image, I'm going to, let's see, let's click on this one. So let's say the person wants to view this specific image. They like it, they love it, they share it here, but maybe they want to download it. So I've added the right click protect. You'll see it at the bottom. You just go into the Wix app marketplace, search for right click and you'll be able to install it on your site. What it does is it blocks people from right-clicking so that way they cannot download anything or copy it. Um, also, if you notice, I added just a name up here, a title, subtitle, button, so that way in case they wanted to screenshot the image, well, they'd have a lot of trouble trying to erase that from their picture. So here we go. Email address and download. Let me type in my not real email address, but sort of real. So Nayeli at wixcode.expert. And let's click download. After I click on download, it'll say email sent. I'll show you how to type that into the code as well. So now let me go to my sort of fake but not so fake inbox. Don't email me there because I don't check it. I just created it for this tutorial. <laughs> Here we go. Just got it. Now I got my triggered email. It says your download is ready. Click on the link below to download your image. So when they click on this, it'll auto trigger the download. I know, so cool. Great. So before I show you how to do this, don't forget to look for me on Facebook. Join the totally codable Wix Code Facebook group, completely dedicated to Wix Code. Ask all the questions you want. It has almost 800 members right now. <laughs> um, it's made up of Wix users, Wix coders, Wix experts, designers, and even some Wix code developers. Also visit totallycodable.com where you can find featured designers and featured coders that you can hire to help you either teach you or complete code work or design work for you. They are featured because they have shown amazing skills and have proven themselves over and over within the community. So go ahead and browse through the profiles and contact one of them. They are not affiliates. Uh, they do not pay me to advertise them. They earned their spot on Totally Codable. Also on Totally Codable, you can find code snippets and other fun resources. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go to the YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Every time I upload a new Wix tutorial video, you'll get notified. So if you're on a desktop right now, go to the bottom of the video where the description is. Click on show more. It'll open up all the information for that video. Search for the link that says link to tutorial site. Click on it and now we can begin. Now that you're on the tutorial site, let's go over the code since I've already showed you how everything works. So click on the code up at the top. This will show you 
a lot of the code that you've already seen in the previous tutorial video. If you haven't seen the other two videos, I will add the links down below at the very bottom of the tutorial site. I won't go over the entire code because most of it was covered in the previous tutorial video, but I will go over the new parts of the code so that way you can understand how, where, and why it was changed. At the very top, you will see the import line. We had previously used only the Wix location API. Now we're using Wix CRM because we are capturing an email address and we can't send a triggered email unless that email already exists in our Wix account. So we're just gonna be adding it into our contacts list. That way the person doesn't have to log in in order to fill in the information and receive the triggered email. So then at the very top, inside of the on ready code, I've actually changed and removed a little bit of the previous information I had that got the URL of the image that was currently being hosted in the database and the download link that will lead the person to that specific image uh, auto save pop-up window. So it's laid out up here. So let the link equal the Wix URL, et cetera, et cetera. And then here, this is the one that I've added up here. Instead of using Wix location two, I'm just gonna use it as a download link that will be uh, inserted as a variable inside of the triggered email. So I label this one download link. You can label it whatever you like. And it has the same pattern of the URL that we need. So that way this entire URL is inserted inside of the triggered email so that way they can see it, click on it, and then be re redirected to the download. Right here, you'll see all the share APIs. Um, these were discussed in the previous tutorial. Underneath that, after the last one, after the kick, <laughs> um, you're gonna see a download button on click. Now, in this code, I did not add the on click event to this button from the properties panel. Let me show you what I mean. So inside of the editor on my dynamic page, this button, if I view properties, there is no event triggered on here. There is no on click event. I completely removed it. I decided to write the code a different way. Remember, there's always more than one way to write a code. So on this code, download button dot on click, now something will happen. So what we'll be doing is we'll get the Wix CRM API and we're going to create a contact. Because in my version of the tutorial site, I'm collecting one piece of information, that's their email. I'm only adding one piece of line of code, but let's say you had another input that had first name, uh, last name, or maybe other things, then you would just insert those here. So for mine, I only have one line, which is emails. So it does have to have an S. This is written exactly as um, I read in the articles. I'll add a link to the Wix article so that way you can learn how to add more than one variable because you will be needing some commas here. So the emails will be the hashtag email value which is this input element, hashtag email. Remember to change the ID name here. If it's text one or hashtag text 22, whatever it is, that's where you write down the name in the code. So hashtag email, this is what I want inserted inside of my Wix contacts list, this email address. So then after that, we're gonna get the contact ID. The code is automatically gonna give us the ID that belongs to that email address that was inserted and then we're going to send an email to this contact. This email is going to be called the Code Queen Loves You <laughs> triggered email template. If you don't know how to send a triggered email, I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial. I will add another link to that tutorial where it'll show you how to create a triggered email. So back to the code. Then here we're sending this template, this contact ID is the same one that we got from the contact, the Wix contact that we created. So it goes here, it stays the same. 
The variables are the ones that I used inside of my triggered email. I only have one variable, uh, which is the download link. So my variable, this is what it's labeled inside of my triggered email. But this is what I labeled it in here in this code. So this is where this word comes from, download link. Okay, because it already equals this. So this variable is going to equal the download link, and the download link equals this URL. Then after that, I still want it to do something after it successfully saves the contact and successfully sends the triggered email. I want this hashtag love this text to equal email sent. So in the editor, this piece of text, I called it hashtag love this because <laughs> it says love this picture, download it today. So instead of saying this, and instead of triggering this button to um, show a successful message, I wanted to create my own successful message by using a text element that already exists on my page, and that is this one. Hashtag love this. So after it sends a triggered email, this will say something new, and that is this little part right here email sent. That way they know that they've received an email. Now they can go check their inbox, click on the download, and voila! You have their email address and they have their picture. Awesome, right? I know! So go try it out. Let me know what happens. If you have any questions, remember to go check the Facebook group. Post your questions there because chances are someone's already asked your question and the answer is there. I promise. Also, if you didn't get a chance to subscribe, the button is up here on the very top of the tutorial site. Click the subscribe button to receive notifications on more Wix tutorial videos by me, your code queen. Bye.